Hello, welcome to this session. Here, I'm going to be overviewing one of the most powerful tools in Salesforce, and that is the dashboard. The dashboard is a visual representation of data. It can have up to 20 charts, bar graphs, or tables that represent perhaps priority questions that you may be asking. In other words, another way to put it is that you could have 20 reports all in one place and visually represented. A dashboard is a powerful tool that helps you see the progress to goal over time and it allows you to look and compare data and that probably is one of the most powerful uses of dashboards. Dashboards are often found on the top ribbon of the Salesforce Classic. You can also click the plus sign and search for dashboards and that will take you right here. In this session, I'm just going to show you the ways in which dashboards work. In the next lectures, we're actually going to build some dashboards. So here are some key things that you need to take into account. There are two main pieces of information that you need to know in order to understand dashboards. The first one is the link between reports and dashboards. The second is the dashboard interface, and that's what I'm going to be talking about uh, later on in this lecture. Let's begin by talking about the links between what you see on the dashboard, in other words, the charts, the tables, or the graphs, and reports. So if I am in this dashboard, the first thing I'm going to do is right click on one of these charts, right? How to warm accounts by opportunity. And what Salesforce automatically does is opens up a report for me. And what I can do then is begin to see the data underneath the chart that I'm looking at. So let's say, for example, I wanted to know who these accounts were that were customer direct and customer channel, right? I could then click on the report and actually take a look and see uh, which the details of this. Any changes I make to this particular report will then begin to reflect over here in this dashboard, in this, uh, in this case, a funnel, right? And so it's important for you to understand, and it will become clearer in the next lecture where I talk to you about how we build this dashboard, how this report will actually link back to the dashboard. So that's the first thing. The important uh, piece to understand is that dashboards are made up of reports. Wonderful. So that's the first piece. If you've got that, you're good to go. However, before you uh, start jumping into dashboards, there's a second piece that's important, and that is the dashboard interface. And that's what I'm going to be talking about right now. The first thing to know about the dashboard interface is when you look over here, you will notice that you are viewing the dashboard as a specific person, in this case, Pashlaleti. You may be a manager and you want to see the data viewing as yourself, right? The second thing you'll notice is that the last time this dashboard was updated was on August 10th, 2017. You will want to make sure that you are seeing the most up-to-date information. And thirdly, you may have made some adjustments to some of your goals, or you may want to actually put some goals into this dashboard, into some of the gauges and charts. And I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. So let's begin by editing this dashboard. So if I click edit, it will take me to the back part of this dashboard. I can immediately go over here to view and I can select, in this case there, are, there is no one else other than Patlaleti, but I can search for someone and based on their permissions and their roles, they will see different sets of data here. So this is where you could change the viewing data as, okay, the dashboard. The second thing I want to show you is the power of the reports that are in here. So for example, you can see over here that it says source. The source is actually the name of the report. Notice the link between here and actually if we 
typed in hot, we can see this report right here. And I, if I drag this into here, I can immediately see that the report is pulled in. And I'll show you one other example. If I just dragged and dropped this report and then clicked components, and maybe I wanted to see the exact same data in a pie chart, I could drop that in. Notice that it's the exact same data, right? And if I wanted to remove it, I could click right over there. It's going to ask me, do I want to delete this? And I can say yes. Okay. So here we are at the back of the dashboard. I can change the view. I've shown you a little bit about how the reports link to the components. And let's say I wanted to edit this particular piece. And I wanted to say our goal for FY18 is to have 25 customer direct and 50 customer channel right I can put that here into the footer and what I can also do is click the wrench and that can help me add some values in here, right? So I can format this particular piece. So for example, I can move the legend position so I can put this on the right, right? In this case, I really like it at the bottom. I can also say that the minimum values displayed, I'm going to say is zero. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing actually happens because we have a very little amount of data. We can change the units right um, if there was a lot of um, if we had a very high n we could change the units we could also change the nature of this chart i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave it exactly how it is um, i could also show this in percentages i could also include a hover so the minute i hover over here the data will go on and i'll actually show you that when we uh, hover over this data so here we go. I've shown you a little bit about how we edit this. Now I'm going to actually click Save. I'm going to click Close, Save and Close. And we're going to look at this. So notice now that we have actually a goal underneath. And this helps us look at this uh, funnel with more context. However, there's one piece that has not been done. And that is something I mentioned earlier, which is the refresh. Dashboards do not automatically refresh themselves. You actually have to refresh data. And that is a best practice. When you enter a dashboard, your first step should always be to refresh. I have not refreshed this dashboard, and that is because I wanted to demonstrate the process of looking at the reports and then looking at the dashboard interface. We now notice that this dashboard is up to date. Notice now it's changed. And because I clicked hover, I can now hover over this and it can give me both the number and the percentage. So to recap, we have discussed dashboards. There's two things that we have gone through. The first one is the link between the charts, tables and graphs and the reports that underpin those. The second thing we looked at is the dashboard interface. I showed you how to edit, how to add, information in and even how to edit the chart in the next lectures we're actually going to build a dashboard from scratch and you're going to get a sense of how these pieces fit together i look forward to seeing you in the next lecture